Hi you guys, I want to do a quick update. Today is February 15th, 2020, and three days ago on February 12th, I had conversion surgery from VSG to RNY, gastro bypass surgery. Had it at 7.30 in the morning. I am doing pretty well. I'm in a little bit of pain right now, so I'm gonna keep this video kind of short. I ended up, um, was very fortunate that everything went really, really well. The, the surgeon was able to do it as a laparoscopic procedure, not an open procedure like I had feared. Uh, he ended up not doing the hiatal, the hiatal hernia repair, even though the upper GI showed it was six centimeters. He he said that um, when he got in there, it just it, it wasn't feasible to to do that correction right now. And he he feels pretty strongly that just doing the conversion will be enough to reduce the acid reflux, which is the whole reason I had the surgery. I um, on the day of surgery, I weighed in at 174. My highest weight ever from um, before I had VSG was 261. My surgery weight for VSG three years ago was 250. My lowest weight from having VSG was 162 pounds. I had gained a little bit of weight over the past six months or so. My highest weight from that point was 179. And on the day of surgery, just three days ago, I was 174 and today I'm weighing in at 171, which puts my total weight loss as of today from my highest weight is 90 pounds from my highest weight of 261. Today I am 171. So that's good. It's just kind of an added perk of having this, the procedure. Um, there are definitely a lot of differences I'm already finding with the, v with the VSG versus the gastric bypass. I'm able to actually eat a little bit more than I could before. Um, when, I, when I had just had the VSG surgery, but it's still not a lot. I'm averaging like 150 calories uh, today. Like in the hospital, I got maybe 30 or 40 calories. Uh, the hospital stay, I ended up having to stay two nights, not just one. Had a little bit of complication stuff in the hospital. Not, not terribly bad, but just a little bit. I'll get into all those details later. I more just wanted to tell you that I'm doing well. I will insert a picture, um, how about here? with um, a picture of my belly. It's not too pretty. And I seem to be having a little bit of an allergic reaction to the glue that they put on the incision. So that's why it's a little extra pink around there. But today I'm noticing a lot more bruising around the incisions. There are five incisions. I also have um, a lot of bruising. And actually, let me see if I can show you real quick. I'm having bruising from um, let's see, you see that? That's where they put the, um, the, the shots for the, the blood clotting to, um, reduce the risk of blood clotting. Um, they put those, um, in my stomach and on my arm. I also had some blood sugar issues, so I was actually getting shots of insulin in my arm, but, um, all, like I said, I'll, I'll go into all the details at a later time. Maybe just not. Not today. And I guess that's it. Um, I will touch base soon, but I just want to let everybody know that I'm doing good. I'm okay. And I will see you guys later. Bye.